long time ago, there were no salmon on Mother Earth. Our people were often hungry, so they sent four brothers across the sea to visit the chief of the salmon people. They implored him to send his children to feed their village. The chief agreed, but only on condition that his children be honored and respected. We consider the salmon uh, a people. Like all animals, there's a spirit, and we're a part of that spirit. The Fraser River, what we call Stolo, once sustained millions and millions of salmon, which drew people from all up and down the coast. Musqueam, Skagit, Esquimalt, Qualicum, Seashelt, Squamish, and Stolo all fished here. Our ancestors said that the salmon used to be so plentiful that you could walk across the water on the backs of the salmon. At the height of fishing season, 500 canoes passed each week. It was really vital to economy and trade. After catching the salmon, we would dry it on racks. The fish we caught in the summer fed our village for the rest of the year. Our culture could flourish the abundance of salmon allowed us to go into our longhouses and develop very intricate ceremonies and rites and rituals. Before they left, the chief of the salmon people spoke to the four brothers. You must gather up all the salmon bones, place them on cedar bark, and return them to the river. You have to give thanks to the salmon people. If you don't show your respect, the salmon will not return.